We told you earlier, Ramsey likes to talk. Does not even put his mouthpiece in on a lot of plays, so he is able to talk. What y'all doing? You can run around with him. Come on, bro. We don't see what you're saying. That's not what we're talking about. A lot goes yep. into account. You just can't yep. see that. You're just lying so you can prove a point. Yep. No. No, 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 no. All right, it's my cool. point. Thanks. Thank you. I, mean, I always win my arguments. You feel me? It's cool. We got there. I always talk shit my whole life. I'm Jalen Ramsey, and I play professional football for the Jags. On the edge, it might it might get on them, which it does actually. I know for a fact it does. It gets in their heads. You got AJ wanting to fight me during the game. Like he was finding the quickest way he could to not be guarded by me no more. He wanted out of the game. Period. So we got kicked out. We both got kicked out. Talking shit actually, I mean, it kind of gives me a little bit more motivation as well. If I talk shit, I know I gotta be on my A game. Whatever shit I was talking on Monday, all throughout the week, I better make sure my ass was grinding on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so Sunday I can back up all this shit. But this looks easy, but when you put these bands on, I'm telling you, man, your quads and your glutes, you're feeling it. Went to college, played a couple years there, but we really didn't get deep in the football until Jalen came along and he wanted to do it, he was begging to do it. And so I said, okay, I'm gonna start training you. We're gonna start doing body weight stuff, getting you stronger, teaching you how to hold the ball, how to move in different planes and stuff. From the first day he started playing, he was five, and uh, there was a coach there who was hyping up another kid who was 5'2 and about the same size. And I remember him saying, why do you always talk about him? I said, well, go beat him then, so they'll talk about you. So that's what he made that his mission to to beat that kid so we can stop talking about him and stuff. Living in Smyrna really transcended my life to like, my life is football. Like my life is grinding, my life is training. Me and my brother just chilling, Pops chilling with us. Oh, we in the country, let's go to that random open field out there and get some drills in. I'm gonna call out different exercises. Jumping jacks, squats, push-ups, crunches. I'm wired this way because of him, it's my dad. So being my trainer and being my pops, he know how much like, hard work I put in. If I'm going to the root of really wanting to come back home, it's I trust my process and I trust my pops process more than any other process that I'll ever trust. Halfway. I live my life super competitive, no matter what we doing. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I think the whole family's like that. It's just, yeah, it's ingrained in them, I think, so. We don't shy away from anybody. I mean, we go to family bowling, it's on. So, <laughs> you know, there's no, no shying away. If you don't wanna talk it, don't come with us. But if you talk it, you better be able to back it up, cause you're gonna catch it. He wasn't all pro this year, was he? If you're all pro, you, you're all pro. If you, if so, you, so you're all if pro, you're all pro, pro, you're just all pro forever. Like, so you said you only as good as your last outing. That's Thank you. Pretty much what we do here: hang out, looking at the new clothes and stuff, talking about sports, talking about just life, just chopping it up. Pretty much, good, good competitive nature. Good to have somebody like that to be competitive with, because not every day hang out with all pro corner. It's like that. It's like that. You get what you see. You know, this guy, he's uh, very mannerable. But when it comes time for some competition, dealing with a different animal right there, man. And uh, I don't think I would have it any other way. I don't think he would have it any other way. And I know his daddy wouldn't have it any other way. So, you know, the misconceptions in the media is that he might be a little, a little mouthy in the position that he plays, the level that he plays it at. Man, you have to have opinion and you have to have a mouthpiece on there or they're gonna try to push you over. A couple of the guys who were on the team who not no more, they came up to me and they were like, hey man, Steve Smith, he, you know, he's gonna try to get in your head, he's gonna try to, like they were saying it like in a scared way, like, like watch out. I'm like, I don't give a, like, I don't care. He had came through and yammed one of my teammates in the back, like pushed him off. Yeah, so I went over there, I mushed Steve Smith, mushed him on the ground. He got up, got in my face and, you know, he said something, I don't even remember what he said. You, you vowed that he wouldn't get in your head, Do you, but you managed to get in his head, do you think? What you think? 
I, <laughs> you, tell, you tell me. You tell me. Anytime I lined up on him. <laughs> Put it this way. When Steve was first coming in the league, what was he doing? He getting up in people's face. He making it known, like, look, I'm not coming here to be your friend. I'm coming for respect, period. Y'all finna have to respect the way I play this game because I'm trying to be a Hall of Famer one day. It's the same with me. I don't care who you are. If we on the field, I'm coming for my respect. You gonna respect the way I play this game. That's all that was. I, honestly, I really do think that was blown way out of proportion. You know, we know he's not gonna win every battle, but the goal is to win more than you lose, you know? So if we're winning more than we're losing, we good with that. Oh no, I've never really felt like I've arrived completely. I know I'm good. Put it that way, I, I know I'm good. I think I'm definitely believe I'm the best corner in the league, but I gotta continue to stack up years before I say like I've arrived. I wanna leave a legacy on the game of football. I want I want my name to be talked about as, like Dion's name is being talked about right now. Just like people say that about Dion. Like I've never seen anybody play the way he plays ever. I want people to say that at the end of my career. Like, yeah, I never saw anyone play like he played ever. This family right here, I just come kick it here most of the day if I ain't doing nothing before I, before I go work out or something. You, we usually got the music on. But we come in here, vibe with the music, the new, the new stuff, whatever, whatever's hot with the culture. Yeah, this is what we do like every day.